Peace, forever, and always. The reality's temple on earth is in the mm mm house. I'm your brother, the angel snuffing up seven. You like those graphics? Woo! Those graphics, something else. I am the angel snuffing up seven. Uh, Talik Ibn Ra, your brother, and hopefully your friend. I want to address something real quick. I'm not going to mention any names because they're not worth it. You're not worth mentioning. So I'm not going to mention your name. And this is the last time I will address this issue because those who wish to attack me at this point in time, you're not worth it. I'm not going to mention your name because to mention your name don't get me any views. It's not worth it. I gain nothing. So I'm not the kind of clown to start a beef when there's no benefit if I win. Because you're not worth it. But I am going to address those who exist now who claim they want to roast me. They want to somehow demean me and bring me down. I accept your challenge. Matter of fact, yesterday I sent emails to these wackos and I challenged them. I said, look, I will make a video because they don't make video. They don't have no subscriptions. Their channel views only get is less than a thousand. Nobody don't even know who the hell they are. So they come and try to get some some kind of fame and bring some kind of attention to themselves by coming to me and they think by bringing me down this great power, that's me, they can make a name for themselves. And they think because I avoid them or block them, I'm scared. Let me tell you something. I'm not scared of nobody on YouTube. I'm not scared of nobody, period. And the reason why I block you, dumbass, because I get tired of your infantile, childish comments. So this is what I told them. Look, I will make the video. Since you're dumbass, you're too silly, you don't know how to make the video yourself. I'll make the video. And these are the rules. No childish comments. Basically, that is the rule. No childish comments. No excessive profanity. I don't mind profanity. You can talk how you please. But that excessive stuff just shows you ignorance. That's, that's, we don't need that. And I'll make the video. And I'll debate you on any issue verbally. I mean, on written, by the written word. Let's do this. Then I said, if you don't want to do it on a video, my first radio blog talk show, I dedicate it to your dumb ass. I want you to come, same rules apply, and we'll have a civil and courtly debate on anything. And guess what? These cowards chicken out. What you gonna come? And then you talk about you roasted somebody. Some of my viewers. You know who I'm talking about because they try to uh, come to you because they know that you're on my friends list and recruit you. They don't understand my viewers, my friends. They're not stupid. Nobody want to hear all that corny garbage that you got to talk about. You want to roast me? You ain't got enough intelligence to roast me. I'm not scared of nobody on YouTube. I encourage beef. You want to beef with Angel Nut Nut 7? Bring it. Ain't none of you can do nothing with me. That's the reason why the only thing left to your dumb ass is infantile name calling. You want to talk about my VCR. You want to talk about my eyeglasses. You want to talk about my eyeglasses. You want to talk about my medallion. You want to talk about garbage. Bring the issues. 
You don't have no roast me. You can't roast me. You talk like kindergartners. I don't give a damn what you got. I don't care how much PhD degree you got. Your BA and what kind of scholarship. I don't care how historian you think that you are. You can't do nothing with me. You know why you can't do nothing with me? Because I'm a self-thinker and that's something you can't deal with. You keep repeating that same old garbage you don't read out of a book. You keep repeating that same old garbage you heard on TV. I ain't into TV. I read books, but I know the lie from the truth. You mad at me because I don't believe in the moonwalk. Who give a damn about moonwalk? They ain't been to no damn moon. You can believe that craziness if you want. Then you want to get angry at me because I'm not silly like you and believe anything some this government or some fool talk about. Then when it's revealed that they lied to you, you look stupid. You shouldn't have believed it to begin with. They liars and deceivers. Once you show me that you're a liar, once you show me you're a deceiver, then you ain't got nothing coming to me. You want to say that I'm a, I'm a backtracker. I'm a, uh, because there are brothers and sisters who are patriotic to this country. You call Uncle Tom. I'm here to love and embrace my people. Unless a black man or woman can show me outright that they are on the side of the, in, of the enemy, whereas they are causing us hurt and harm. I don't care about their words. We can take care of their words. Our people ready for something better and greater. I ain't, I don't give a damn about no slave mentality words. That don't bother me. I'm here to love and embrace my people. Because the same slave mentality, brother and sister, that you talk about and you call them a Uncle Tom or whatever, once they come out of that slave mentality, could be your greatest ally. So yeah, I'm going to try to be peaceful with my people. I'm going to try to love my people. We have love white folks and these people that hate us. Why can't I show some love for my own? Then they want to say, I copy people because I want to start an organization. You're a damn fool. Any type of revolution, any type of thing is organized. It's incorporated. You dumb as fool. This goes to show you that I'm dealing with children. I don't have time to be playing with silly brats. Think you know something? You can't do nothing with me. I've been doing this ever since I was 13 years old. When I was growing up, my best friend was adult people. And adult people like having me around because that's where my mentality was at. What was you doing at 13 years old? When you was a child or kid. I've been doing this a long time. I've dealt with the best. You're nothing to me. Nothing. You're not even worth my time. And I will give you no more of my time. Because y'all cowards and your punks. Come on my radio show with your foolishness. I'll make the video. Debate me. Bring your wisdom. Bring your intelligence. You know why you're not going to debate me? Because you have none. You sit up here and you don't like me and what I say or whatever. Just because, just because. You really don't know. Because you can't defend your own damn position. Your position is old. It's through. It's time for new blood in this struggle. New blood in this life. And that's what I'm going to bring. If I thought I was bringing the same, same old, same old, I sit my happy ass down and, and enjoy retirement. You want to roast me? Bring it. Make the videos. Bring it on. I love it. I love a challenge. The state of Missouri thought they was going to beat me up. They lost. The state of Missouri is real power. You ain't nothing. I beat the state of Missouri at their own game. None of these people. Then you run around 
You want to roast somebody, but you can't do it by yourself. You trying to go get everybody you can. Get everybody. All your everybody can't do nothing with me. All of them together. Because y'all don't have no power. I'm the real power. You ain't nothing. Yeah. Go get your boys. Bring them all. I smash all of you at one time and get it over with. Then listen to what I'm talking about. Then maybe you'll learn something. Fool. This is your brother. Hate to go off like that. <laughs> but uh, you know you have idiots out there. This was and is. I really enjoyed this video. <laughs> the reality's temple on her. In the name of my ancestors. Peace forever and always and welcome to another edition of the Reality's Temple on Earth. Of course, I am the gatekeeper of this internet ministry known as the mighty, 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 mm. and your snub number seven, your brother, and hopefully your friend, Talik Ibn Ra. Now, on this particular uh, lecture, I guess you can say it's a lecture, but I'm going to give you various subjects. And what I'm going to do, they will be in parts on the original channel, but I will bring them together and place them on a channel whereas they can be together like one video lecture. I want to talk about different things. I don't know what I'm going to title this video. I just have a lot on my mind and it simply can't be just one subject. But I do want to begin this talk by giving my uh, respect <laughs> if you can to the termination of one of my channels called The Realities Temple. I have no idea of what the so-called reason of why YouTube terminated my channel. I, I don't know what I could care less because YouTube will be YouTube but also at the same time YouTube will do what it does guided by somebody's hand because YouTube and I want to say this it is a racist corporation there's no doubt about that. And whenever given an opportunity to destroy the work of a black YouTube channel, they would do it. Now, at the same time, I must give YouTube props because I have appealed videos that have been removed and I have won appeals but it seems overall that YouTube is not interested in black YouTube channels specific ones the ones where we attempt to teach our people about themselves to teach our people about the dilemma we find ourselves in as a so-called citizen of the United States of America. They have a problem with black YouTube channels that tell it like it is. And you cannot tell it like it is unless you mention 
the racist Caucasian people of this nation because they and their children were the ones who put us in this dilemma and that's what they don't want to face that's something they don't want to deal with and so since they control YouTube they will attempt to control the voices that have access to this medium well you can flag and you can terminate channels but as long as email is free as long as YouTube was is free matter of fact I wish it would be better if we paid for YouTube then they would have to justify any type of action they take against your channel it would be much better I will be happy to pay for my space then you racist then you haters then you folks who are jealousy filled with jealousy and envy then there's nothing that you can do because none of you and YouTube you could not prove your false accusations and allegations of hate and all whatever else you done came up with but since it's not like that then we will play the game and be like the rabbit the rabbit is a creature that many other animals would like to eat being a black YouTube channel is a creature that these races would like to eat who are in control of YouTube who are here trying to trick us and make us think and believe things change when we know better and they don't want us to uplift our voice well we're going to do that so like the rabbit we need to reproduce and make many many babies and so that channel was just a one of many babies you will not silence this voice I'm not going nowhere if you want to silence this voice then you have a whole lot of work to do until then I will play your sick game and there is no doubt that black YouTube channels are targeted like mine like any of us who are trying to bring positivity knowledge understanding history to our people who are called the mentally dead and there's no doubt we are dead because there's no way in the hell if you was alive you would be in love with that which caused your death that's what I don't understand about Christianity how could you be in love with the cross and that was the instrument that put your savior to death and you put that around your neck why would I be in love with America? This vicious and wicked country that raped my grandmothers, that enslaved my people, discriminated against us, lynched us outright, all types of atrocity and evil, and still, right now as I speak, continue to do this wickedness right now. Why would I be in love with you? Why would I even pretend? I'm not going to do that. That's for cowards. And so for the black people that's cowards, you can keep their channels up, hoping that they can continue to trick the masses, keep them asleep. And so that makes Angel Snuff Nuff 7 dangerous. Not only is Angel Snuff Nuff 7 not only is the Realities Temple dangerous to these racist Caucasian people but this ministry is also dangerous to those black people who claim they won't change who claim they are working or stand 
life of black folks when the reality is they stand to promote their religion some comedic religion some Israelite religion some Moors religion some type of religion they're trying to promote so that makes me dangerous because I see that you're not really for black folks you're trying to promote a religion you talk about you won't change but not a real change it's like when you have a flat on your car and you take a spare and put it on your car you do change that's having a change but the spare tire is an old used tire you don't expect an old used tire to uh, what's the word I'm looking for to do like a new tire so that's the number one reason of why the black man and woman in America we are still in bad shape because we won't change but we want to use old tires when you change a tire if you really want real change then you should want a new tire but Islam is old Moore's science temple that philosophy that's old Hebrew is like you old how far do you think you're going to get wanting change but using old tires you must create a new tire get you some new rubber put it in a new furnace heat it up and make a new tire because you never know when the old tire is going to go flat on you and it has gone flat but you want to hold on to that old tire because it was so good to you but it has run its course it has run its life now listen this channel was terminated the sad thing about it is that most times when a black channel is terminated we automatically may assume that white people are behind the termination I really don't know what happened in this instance with this channel but from looking at the reasons of why the, the uh, videos were removed or whatever it seems as though this was an act by so called black folks dark Europeans and see my channel gets uh, flagged by everybody black or white we already know why Angel Snup Nup 7 gets flagged by white people but I get flagged by so called black folks because I have become dangerous what do you mean by that brother I have become dangerous I'm dangerous as far as white folks is concerned I'm dangerous as far as some of these black pro-black Afrocentric dark Europeans as far as they're concerned also so that must tell you something about me it must be telling you that I carry a, some type of truth and truth real truth makes me dangerous not just any truth but real truth because I'm bringing us and if you listen to what I'm telling us I'm not just speaking for black folks 
but the words are able to awaken all of humanity because all of humanity has been what they say dumbed down and you have been conditioned to live in a fictional fantasy world where you don't belong and that's why you suffer and that's why we have the problems that we have because of lies and deceit have truths and fantasy and fiction well that time is over it's time for us to wake up out of this nightmare of all races well <clears throat> brother you make a claim and that's nice you talk about you bring real truth what makes your truth any different from anybody else's because you compare that to real truth prior to my coming into existence whenever there's a real truth at that particular time now there are different levels of real truth it's according to what is needed during a certain period of time and uh, the level of understanding that the people will be able to accept if we for an, an example if we take the story of Jesus prior to Jesus there was truth they already had truth they already had the laws of the prophet called Moses and many prophets prior to Jesus they all had truth as far as they were concerned. There was already religion. There was already pastors and priests and ministers. There was already religion. But here comes this guy. Here comes this fellow who says, I'm bringing you something new. Because it's time for a change. And everybody is not ready for change. That's why they are holding on to that old tire when they should be when they should spend the money and do what's required to put a new tire on the car. Not a spare tire, but a new tire. Because some spare tires are new, but a spare tire, a spare tire is only used as a temporary fix till you get something new. Ah, woo! See, that used tire is a temporary fix until you get something new. So you have. Afrocentricity, so you have Islam, so you have all these other things that we hold on to. They are at one time because you needed them. When your car break down, you need a spare tire as long as it works. Makes no difference if it's old or new, so that you can keep moving forward. So for the last some hundred years the black man and woman in America we've been given spare tires we've been and now we are using old tires as spare tires when what is needed on this car if the car is new or if you expect this car to operate the best way that it can you must 
put on a new tire. And that is something we refuse to do because we have become like those during Jesus' time. We got our own thing. Y'all say it all the time. But nothing's going to change until you make it new. So when somebody, as Jesus is an example, brings something new, there's always going to be opposition. The one who's bringing something new is going to be hated, made mockery of, harassed, attacked. So out of everybody here on YouTube, I'm the only channel the only channel being flagged by black people, white people, Asians, males and females, homosexuals, whatever. Because bringing in a change as Jesus represented means the end of the old. So everything that y'all talking about it's coming to an end and you don't want that to go nowhere because you're used to it. But these of whom you call the Negro, the so-called black people of America, we have been given the knowledge and the understanding to, to bring into existence the new tire or that the new change that y'all claim that you want. You claim. Because if you really wanted a change, you would leave me alone. And you would listen. Not just hear what I'm telling us, but you would listen and take heed of the world who's bringing in something that is new. So, that's why I know I have truth because of the opposition that's coming from so many places not just one particular place but all around me like they did the one they called Jesus Christ and then what I bring makes us to accept our reality no more belief you don't have to believe nothing no more there's no place for belief in reality and that's something else that's why y'all get so upset because you want to believe in Jesus you want to believe in Muhammad you want to believe in Barack Obama you want to believe in somebody but when you accept your reality the only one that you can really believe in is yourself and your reality your experience your life You came into this life by yourself. You don't need none. You don't need nobody else but you. But you are afraid. That's why in religion they call you children of God, the child of God. You are afraid of change. Just like little children are afraid to go to the first day of school. You are afraid of your new experience to bring in change means there's an experience that you never had to deal with and if you are afraid I want to take some Islam with me I want to take some Hebrew Israelite teachers with me I want to take some more I want to go back to Egypt I want to take some type of blanket with me like you Linus you need a security blanket only babies and children need security blanket that goes to show that you have yet to grow up you still a child of God when you should be coming an adult and becoming an adult of God means you become God yourself not a child any longer and that's what you fear you talk it but you don't know how to do it and you're afraid of doing it because they become an adult 
to become grown means you have to accept certain responsibilities and that's something that you're afraid of because you never, black man and woman, have never had to do for themselves the white man or somebody was always there to guide you and control you and keep you going somewhere. But the problem was that the white man and all these other folks that we cling on to, they have looked out for themselves. It is time for you to benefit yourself. So I am dangerous. And here is the the new Merriam Webster dictionary. What does it mean to be dangerous? To be dangerous means that you are able or likely you are able and you are likely to inflict injury. Every wisdom, every so-called knowledge that has ever come up against this ministry, I was able and I inflicted serious injury on that idea because it is old it is spare tire when we should be striving to put on something new so that's what makes me dangerous if you bring it half truth I'm gonna expose you if you're a liar I'm gonna expose you if you bring it in holding on to that which is old I'm going to expose you because we should be striving for something new it's time for us as a people black man and woman to grow up and get off people's breasts get off the white man's breasts but you are so filled with self hatred and you're jealous and you, you are a baby or a child you are scared to try new things wrapped around somebody's leg you know how children are when they get afraid we as a people we wrap around the white man's leg and we as individuals I don't care how pro-black we are then you wrap around uh, Amos Wilson Bobby Hemmings Elijah Muhammad Malcolm that's all y'all talk about you wrap around their leg or Louis Fire kind of Jesse. You refuse to grow up on your own. Child in the mind. Holding on to fantasy and fiction. Your gods and your goddesses. You had them for how long now? They've done nothing for you. Nothing. Because you have these gods and goddesses, but you won't work on yourself. You have gods and goddesses, but you don't view yourself. You don't see yourself doing anything. So, yes, I'm dangerous. And that's why I'm harassed. That's why I'm attacked. But see, cowards flag. Cowards terminate. What if your if your wisdom, if your understanding is so great, then come on out here. Act like a civilized human being. Be civil and cordial. And debate me and show the people what you got. But you don't want to mess with me because I'm dangerous. I'm able and have the capability to inflict injury and you don't want to be embarrassed so it's easier to be a coward a little sissy and with that type of attitude y'all deserve to be slaves you deserve to just keep complaining and you deserve to stay in the condition that you are in because you're not worthy of real freedom you're a bunch of cowards black power Shalom, all this old stuff, nothing but 
a facade. You're not real. Y'all a bunch of fakes. And the white man know that you're fake. He's really not worried about you because you don't have no real truth. You're living in the past. Egypt is in the past. Those Israelites live in the past. Everything y'all do is in the past. The white man is afraid of the ones who want to bring something new. Because to bring in something new means the old has to leave. And he and his world is of the old. You better believe that. Going on to my next subject. Hold on. Okay. We're still... Still being a little casual, like I said. I'm going to put all these videos, and I have many, maybe five different subjects that I wanted to talk about. I'm going to put them all together, make one package out of it. But uh, we're still casual. The next topic I would like to talk about, and. Um, It's, it's, uh, white folks, these Europeans, these racist Caucasian people, they love to brag when they kill something. Now, Listen to this. On the day when I won my freedom from these devils, and yes, these particular white people that held me unjustly for no reason for 10 years, yes, I will call these white folks devils, demons, and actually that's putting it lightly. I wish I could find something worse to describe these evil, wicked people. If they could have killed me and gotten away with it, if they thought they could get away with it, I would not be talking to you right now. Some of y'all silly ass people wish they could have been successful because you don't like what I might say. But see, that's the difference between you and me. Just because I don't like what you say, I would never hope that somebody kill you. But that's the way white people think. And that's the way some of y'all dark Europeans, so-called black folks, Negroes, niggas, that's the way you think too. As soon as somebody you don't like, you disagree with them. You want to kill them. You want to make fun of them. You don't understand that that's a sick mind? How the hell can you put me in a mental institution and that's how these devils think? To show you the difference between me, who they tried to label insane and them who are supposed to be those who treat the insane on the day that I went to court and I won my freedom they told me these liars because they wanted me to stop trying let me say that again they wanted me to stop trying so they tell us as a people the same thing. We tell ourselves that because somebody wants us to stop trying. But I did not. I lost. I lost. I lost. And I kept losing. I was losing so bad that I never did and never thought I would see 
light at the end of the tunnel, but because I said the hell with it, you don't have nothing to lose. Keep trying. Keep trying. So I kept trying. And pretty soon, a little bit of light started to show. And those who don't want you to try, they will tell y'all there ain't nothing. You're still locked up. But I'm closer. See, they know you getting closer. They know you getting ready to win. You're on the right path. But the deceivers want to fool you and trick you. So you get off the path and stop trying. But I kept trying. And I finally beat them at their own game. They told me it was impossible. Well, I did the impossible. They told me out of 100 years, nobody ever was able to get from up out of their control. Well, this is the 101st year and it's a new day bringing in new change. But on the day that I whooped these devils and they lost, because their intent was to hold me, incarcerate me the rest of my life. And I showed them you wrong. But on this day, I could have been a bragger because I hated them. I'm going to tell you again, I hated them. With the passage of time, those feelings have subsided. But I wish and I want them punished for what they've done to me. And I don't forgive them. They were merciless. They were heartless. Treated like an animal. Treated subhuman. They made mockery of you every day. Try to force these psychiatric drugs on you. Kill you. And on the day that I won my freedom, I could have easily said and bragged. But I did. And like most black people, we are like that. As a people. We just want the oppressor of our back. I'm not going to brag about this and that. Just leave me alone. But Caucasian people are not like that. And I'm saying that by your history and by your actions and not by your actions. Oh, there we go. 400 years ago. One time, now I'm going to talk about you in 2011. I was watching. What brings me to this subject is that I was watching the news and now they have this uh, warrant out for Colonel Gaddafi's arrest. Now, I don't know Colonel Gaddafi. But it's arrogant. And I looked at the international court. The only people on the international court is Caucasian people. And then when the Irish white folks start to hear that the international court has a war out for Gaddafi's arrest for crimes against his people, they start bragging. And then they say, he chances are he's not going to uh, give up. He'll rather die. And they talk about how he's going to die and how they're going to kill him and all this kind of, we're going to White people love to brag about killing and murder. Listen to them when they go hunting. How they shot a deer in the head. Did they kill the deer because they needed the meat? No. They just wanted the satisfaction and the pleasure of killing somebody. 
That's what they liked about holding me in that mental institution because they knew nothing was wrong with me mentally because if there was something wrong mentally with me then you should be really embarrassed that a mentally ill guy came out and kicked you in your ass in a court of law. They like to see you suffer. They like to play God. They like controlling things. Look at the animals in the zoo. Look at the animals in their house. They like to enslave things. They like to murder and kill and brag about it. They love violence and bloodshed and brag about it. When President Obama talked about, oh, we just killed Osama bin Laden, you don't have to worry about him no more. Listen to how they talk. I would feel very upset and angry that I would, it would get to the point I would have to hurt and kill another human being. They don't feel that way. They jumped on top of cars. They called their friends. Bragged about it in the newspaper, on the radio, on TV. That's how they are. And here you are, these racist Caucasian people of America. Do your research since y'all love to do statistics. Do your research and statistics. And just go back 10 years. How many wars have you been in? How many bombs have you dropped? How many people have you killed? How many people have you murdered? There are, there are conflicts that we don't even know nothing about. That's not made public. Then on the streets of major cities, how many innocent black men did you shoot down in the street? Then of course you go back to your police department and get with your white friends and comrades and you talk about how you kill some niggas in the street some thugs and some of these niggas stupid ass dark European they hate their own people they are bragging about how they killed their own cause brother was a thug drug dealer he was trash there is no compassion in nobody's hearts murdering bloodthirsty beasts and you want to bring that to me and try to paint yourself as an angel there's nothing angelic about your history now or then you're doing the same thing because you are the children of murderers so it would not be wise to expect justice from a people who are the children of criminals. Your whole country was born in violence and death and destruction. You even killed each other by the thousands called the Civil War because you just couldn't get along on an issue. It was worth thousands to die. They love to brag. But these are your angels. And listen how they talk on YouTube. They first start off really nice. I ain't no racist. But as soon as they get mad angry the real devil in them comes out the real demon it comes out they can't help it you are criminal children so how do you deal with a criminal how do you deal with a vicious criminal that holds all the cards. That's the position that the black man and woman in America, that's what we're in. Dealing with criminals.
think about it. How could you brag about killing somebody and then they claim to be Christians. They can't claim to be peace lovers. Oh man, how fake can you be? How can you claim love and peace? Look at your record. Your record speaks for itself. I'm just going to show you your record and remind you and be the man in the mirror to show you that you're a criminal. Bragging about how you kill people. You should be shaming yourself. 